20-year-old John Tate came from West Memphis, Arkansas to Knoxville in 1975 to box in the National Golden Gloves Tournament. He met local amateur boxing wizard Ace Miller and begged Miller to train him. Miller recognized early on that John Tate needed a lot of work as a boxer. He also learned the youngster couldn't read or write. And I said, but guess what? You got to the right place because you're going to learn how to do it all. And he did. Under Miller's tutelage, John Tate learned how to box and read a little. He advanced through the amateur ranks until in the 1976 Montreal Olympics, he won the bronze medal. Then in 1977, with Miller as his mentor, coach, and now manager, he turned pro. In the next two years, he fought 19 bouts, winning all of them, 13 by knockouts. In October 1979, John Tate fought Gary Kutsia in Pretoria, South Africa for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. In South Africa, he got the full celebrity treatment in a country which at that time didn't allow blacks to vote or own property. 86,000 people were at the fight. And it was really something. Uh, to, to, he just destroyed uh, Kutsia with boxing instead of slugging it out with him. He stayed to a fight plan all the way through and just outmaneuvered out him and won the fight. By unanimous decision. It was a huge homecoming back in Knoxville for the world's champion. Didn't take long to line up a match to defend his title against Mike Weaver. The match to be held at Soakley Athletic Center at UT. I had to say it would be a good fight. I just don't see how you win, Mike. Thank you. And it didn't look like he would. But Weaver did win with a knockout punch in the 15th round. Three months later, in a comeback attempt in Montreal, Canada, he was again knocked out, this time by Trevor Burby. From then on, his life was troubled and brief. No longer managed by Miller, he fought a few more times, mainly to get money just to survive. Tate, addicted to drugs, was convicted on petty theft and assault charges, spent some time in jail, at times was seen panhandling on the streets of Knoxville. One night he called his old friend Ace Miller. Coach, he said, uh, was I a good fighter? I said, John, you're a heavyweight champion of the world. He said, I'm going to be a better bum. On April 9th, 1998, John Tate died of injuries, suffered in a one vehicle accident. It was really a sad ending, quite frankly, uh, to a guy that this family of mine and Golden Gloves worshiped and endorsed. We never dreamed that, that would ever happen.